folks, I have a tenor banjo to show you today. This is a stock instrument, so this is for sale. And it's a little bit different project for me because this is an old banjo rim that I made a new neck for. And that's pretty common in banjo land. Like these, these rims, they seem to end up separate from their original necks and we just need to work with it. So um, here's what I chose to do. This old rim is rosewood in bird's eye maple. And so I chose to make a neck that matched out of maple and Texas ebony. And I finished it all in amber shellac so that it would match. So this was an opportunity for me to learn how to do that. And the scale length is 20 inches. The rim is like uh, 10 and a half, I think, just under 11. It's got a goat skin head. Um, I had to make uh, new brass hardware to go with it, but you can see it's got a little steel tone ring in there, which gives it its bright sound. So yeah, old rim, new brass hardware, new head, new bridge, new strings, um, and then I made this new neck. Um, it's got a 20 inch scale and it's currently set up with steel strings D, G, B, E. But, uh, you know, if the future customer wants it with different stringing or tuning, we can handle that. So C, G, D, A or um, G, C, E, A, non-steel string, string, uh, steel strings, whatever you want. It's got little gear tuners on it, bone nut. Um, so yeah, it was a fun project. I have got this box of old banjo rims and they all need necks. So this is my first one in the uh, series. And it's going to be $1,500 plus shipping with a really nice uh, backpack case. So, um, yeah, let's uh, play a little bit more, huh? It's a, a nice, lightweight, loud tenor banjo. I think it'll be well suited to um, somebody with that sort of, who needs this sort of sound. So this is Bean Sprout 831. Cheers. Mm -hmm. 